Hello and welcome back to episode, check my phone, 16 of Non-League to Legend. I had to check there because it's been so goddamn long. Um, yes, episode 16 this will be. Check it out, check out the other ones. Um, it's been about two months since we last touched this save and since I actually last touched this save, a lot of things going on, Christmas, friend things, busy, work real life football, girlfriend, all, all of these things culminating in not doing doing this. Um, but we are back and hopefully we are back for good uh, and we can smash through this. I really enjoyed this. Um, missed some of these names who if you didn't know hopefully you'll continue to watch and get to know and uh, if you did watch and you are back, well done. Uh, cause I didn't know that this would happen so uh, just a little recap for everyone. We seem to have blown top spot, um, we're sat in second, we're pretty much guaranteed a playoff spot nearly, uh, another couple of wins and we'll be there. The form has not been brilliant at all, three wins on the, sp uh, three defeats on the spin, um, Chippenham, Wildstone and then Kingstonian beat us in the FA Trophy who we actually have today again. Um, not a bad little run in for us bar today's game against Kingstonian which is one of the games we'll be showing you live um, we've changed the formation a little bit, it's a 4-2-3-1 with a couple of little tweaks um, to it today I would tell you all the team news but I don't actually remember all of the players myself yet so um, we're going to have to just see how they perform today against Kingstonian make sure all the uh, highlights are at the right speed which they are I've missed this save um, really really missed it hopefully we can keep it going um, long term again because I really did enjoy doing this we what is this our second season first season we didn't quite get out the Conference South and this year we're looking like we can do it just a few too many defeats and Chelmsford a few too many draws to be honest as we sneak towards half time nil nil we probably very close up there isn't it Billy Ricky just outside you want one of those sides that are down there to get lost um, Welling, Billy Ricky, Dartford Merthyr of Tidville there's just four teams there that could all really kill us if they were on a little two game run as the Kingstonian are in and Dickinson poor finish in the end we could be on to 71 and we could give Chelmsford a good go because they are not doing brilliantly so what we're going to do is get Liam Nashy Nash on a man that Everyone should remember Isaac Galliford's going to come on as well. Um, two players that were pretty much favourites of mine during my time here before we had our little sabbatical. As uh, Bill Ricky actually moved up to within a point, it's all got very close. Unless Liam Nashy Nashy straighten over the top. Liam! Oh! <sighs> I should have known, he's miles off. I don't even know why I'm guessing that up, he's miles off. Ah, uh, nil nil. Full time, nil nil. Um, not exactly the beginning to a return of the series that we want, but uh, not bad. It It's not a defeat, it's a clean sheet. Look at all the positives. We're still in a position where we can be in the playoffs. Um, we will be back in just a tick for you. It looked like a click there. And we'll be back for Hampton and Richmond away. Right, so Hampton and Richmond away from home. We've played these four times already as manager. We've won three, lost one. They are right down here and are pretty much relegated. I don't know if we can make it official today, but they're in big, big trouble. Um, we could actually fall out the, well, we nearly fall out the playoffs today. But this is the side, very, very similar to what played 
<clears throat> excuse me, what played last Saturday, Isaac Galliford is going to be on the bench. Luis Fernandez, I can't remember Luis Fernandez though, he's a centre half. But this is the this is the side. Angbo is preferably a winger. Can we get someone who is more preferably a can in there, or can we not? I don't think we can. That's the side. I'm not messing about. Asing and you, that's all we need. We got Liam Nashy Nash on the bench. We should really go and beat these. Um, and secure pretty much a place in the playoffs. And after 45 seconds, the ball is whipped in, and it's in the no back of the net. Faisal Bitashe, a man who, if I remember correctly, struggled to get in the team at the start of the season. Maybe, probably not. Completely wrong. One of our key players. Um, but <laughs> it's a scramble. Essen. It falls to Bitashe, who slides in, and into the middle of the the open net, as we lead. And I tell you what, we still are on for a automatic spot if we can not concede. We can't be conceding goals like that if we want to go up. Now Kingstonian have leapfrogged and we're playing 23rd in the league and we're giving away real chances and we're 2-1 down look at him Charlie Fox now we're going to have to come back from 2-1 down and we're 1-0 up cruising Clayton Phillips that is poor it's a young Hemel side and it's looking vulnerable now at the business end I have to say looking very vulnerable now we've got it Two points from being outside the playoffs. Are we bottling it? As another chance for Hampton and Richmond. Let's be clear it half. Half cleared and they're still on it. Moving it around their 23rd, you wouldn't know it. Elliot. Absolutely clubbed away, but clubbed back in. He's offside. I would have gone absolutely mental if we'd have conceded from this. It's just a lump baller. That's a great little half volley, though. He is apparently offside. But we knew anything about it. As we sit third. Oh my god. This is not good at all. Half time, I'm going to give them an absolute dressing down here. Show a bit of desire. I'll make subs if I have to. We need two goals. Big time, we need two goals. We need one quickly. Now would be perfect. That's again, it's down as far as German. German whips it in. Clayton Phillips. And he's just, just over the bar. Come on. They're fired up. We need a goal. We need it. As my cat stops rumbling into my room. Go away. Go on. Out you go. Bloody animal. Can't deal with you now. <laughs> this is more important. Saint Moro, German, but Ah, uh, Get it in here. Come on. See if it comes back. Might be my good luck charm. Added by... Clayton Phillips got to stay on. Liam Nashy Nash. That will do. This could be very disappointing. We're down to fifth in the league. Wave goodbye to anything else as we lose to Hampton and Richmond. We dominated the game. Chris Eagles, I'm going to tell them. We'll address everything in training. They can. So it seems to lose focus or whatever. First episode back. Gone as badly as it could have done. <laughs> Apart from if we actually could have lost both. Um, a 2 undefeat defeat here leaves us a point inside the playoffs. Fifth place with 
how many games left with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six games left, a point inside the playoffs. And that is currently four, five games without a win now. One, two, three, four, five games, four league games, five league games, six league games without a win in our last sort of eight or nine. Um, we've only won one league game in February and March. This is before then we had some very consistent form. And then sort of from October it got a bit meh. December. So it's from the end of December. We had Christmas coming up and then everyone thought, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. That's what happened. So that's annoying. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And we'll be back next episode to uh, to try and rectify these things. And... Uh, put us in a position to either make the playoffs or, or to be in the playoffs so uh, please catch that one if you did like this one subscribe and like it and comment on it and give it a hate and do it do whatever you want to do because all publicity is good publicity in my eyes so uh, yeah we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>